for years now. I've been buying affordable bikes, budget bikes like this Schwinn and upgrading them, turning them into some pretty amazing bikes with just a few parts. And one of those parts, one of my key upgrades is going from the mechanical disc brakes that often come on budget bikes, turning them into hydraulic disc brakes. And if you don't know what mechanical are, this is a mechanical setup and you might can see down there a little bit of movement, but here's a mechanical disc brake. They're mechanical because they have a cable actuating everything. This lever squeezes in and it pulls on this cable and closes in the brake pads and that makes the brakes work. And that's good. Mechanical disc brakes do work and they work quite well. Some people actually prefer them, but most of us prefer hydraulic. And the reason we want hydraulic is the tension it takes to actuate this. There's a pull strength involved and the harder you want to brake, the more you have to squeeze, a hard squeeze, to get a full mechanical lockup because that's what it takes. You're working, it's all your power squeezing this. And it's very hard for me to relay this on camera. For years I've been talking about the pull, the throw on a brake, and how much easier and smoother hydraulic disc brakes are than mechanical. But I mean, how do you show that on screen? Well, I think I figured out a way. With this, this is a pull gauge and I can pull on this other end and you can see the numbers shooting up. This is designed to gauge how much pull, how much tension it takes to actuate something. In this case, it's made for triggers. I'll just tell you that without having to use other words, but it's perfect for this because I can actually show you with numbers the difference between a mechanical disc brake, how much tension, how much force it takes to actuate it versus a hydraulic. And what I can do is I can pull on this until I reach the stop point on the brake. And then I'll let this judge it. And it looks like there we are. We are at 16 pounds or 16.73 pounds to get this to break. And what I did is I just went to the level where the brakes start to engage. I mean, I could still wrench down harder, but I just went to engagement point and that took 16.73 pounds of pull. Just to relate that, a gallon of water is about eight pounds between eight and nine pounds. So imagine taking a finger or two that you would use to actuate this lever and picking up two gallons of water at the same time with those two fingers, that's how much force it took to actuate this brake. That's, well, that's a lot of pressure. It doesn't feel like as much as you would think when you're thinking 16 pounds or two gallons of water, but it's a noticeable bit of pressure. Now let's try out a hydraulic disc brake and see what that does. And here's an example of hydraulic brakes. Again, you can't see this easier throw, but oh, I can feel it. The easier throw and hydraulic brakes, how they work is there is mineral oil in here. This is a reservoir and this is a hydraulic line and it goes down to the caliper and there's no cable actuating. It's all hydraulic pressure from this line up to this reservoir and you're just kind of turning it on and off with a lever. So let me orient this and do a pull gauge on this. Remember we were at 16.73 pounds with mechanical. What's a budget hydraulic brake gonna do? Is it gonna be any different? And there we are. This is 11.22 pounds. So from 16.73 to 11.22, just because it's hydraulic. See what I'm talking about? One finger is a lot easier when you're dealing with five less pounds. What about the zoom right next to it? I can feel the throw on this is a lot shorter, but it feels, I don't know, pretty close. Maybe just a little less. 9.24, so even less. What about knockoff zooms? I believe these are knockoffs and they say do not loose down on the caliper. Let's see what they do. 9.82 in the far reaches of my basement recesses, the Marocca breaks. I just talked about these. Wow. 8.97, go Marocca. Project E with its Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. Are these gonna be as good as Morocco? I can tell, they're gonna be better. I can tell by the feel. Judgment free zone. I just knocked down some Christmas decorations. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Wow, 
5.58 pounds go tetra let's up the game to the best hydraulic disc brakes that i currently have on a bike this is on project ledge my three thousand dollar ish build shimano deor good brakes oh yeah i can definitely feel a difference here i'm going to be really curious what this number is how about 4.11 pounds of pull Shimano Deor is the stuff, and these aren't even the best Shimano brakes. A buddy of mine has some Shimano brakes. I don't know the model, but they're on his e-mountain bike, his Trek e-mountain bike, and I almost locked the wheels up the first time I used them. They're such an easy, quick pull, and then full, almost, engagement. And that's another thing that I can't relay on camera. Once you get to the pull point where you're really putting that pressure to engage the braking, from that point to locking up a wheel is just... I mean, it's millimeters on hydraulic. On a mechanical, you are really wrenching down on them. So this is the best I can think to show you of how hydraulic brakes work, the pull, and how different it is. Did this help you out? If so, comment below. Maybe I can put this to work on some other stuff. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. It would be a sin to not show Shimano MT200. 7.03.